I hate that our only option was a double queen room, but it's still oceanfront at Daytona. So as I started editing this, I had the realization that uh, I made a bit of a mistake when I was in Daytona and was pulling off the clips from my iPhone. When I got to Daytona, I pulled off all of the clips from the supercharging stops and uh, had a bit of an issue with like Apple Photos crashing. So I just deleted everything and started the import again. And I believe when I did that, some of the photos were not selected that had already imported the first time when it crashed and those got deleted. So originally I was gonna have three supercharging videos, one for each stop, and then I was gonna have my Daytona video. But since I don't have all the clips from those supercharging stops, I only have a few from each one due to the import issues, we're gonna start basically in Daytona. So here's the start of our Miami vlogs. We start out uh, with our first night in Daytona. We drove halfway down, and then after Daytona, we were in Miami for a whole week. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at adultsclothing.com for the merch, and let's get started. I've never seen a Ford with light up Ford logos on the front and back. That's pretty cool. I've never been in one of these before, but we're gonna learn. This is like a food depot. Aww. So Sonic does have breakfast, so open 6 a.m. to 11. I didn't know that. But Burger King is the best. Some uh, little snacks. It's the only way we know how to rock. Well, at least it's not as bad as I thought. It's still not bad. Like, it's still just a Moe's it's and a free. gas station. Oh, there is. And you can get into the Moe's there next to Sunbeam. So. Pretty nice. I like it in here, actually. That's way better than the McDonald's ones. So goodbye to 75 and hello to East 10. Still got 88 miles on the it could just be me, but these aisles are like twice as long as Walmart aisles. I mean, we're at the end here, and then the whole, it's a long aisle. Yay, restrooms. Somebody blew that one up. Winn-Dixie has self-checkout. All right, well, goodbye to Winn-Dixie for the next four years, probably, because it'll be the next time we stop at one. I hate traffic because I, I really hate traffic. Uh, one mile, we made it. All right, two Chick fil A. Oh, yeah. All right, one hour, one minute, 55 miles. Let's roll. Daytona Beach, that way. They got me walking side to side. It's starting to look a little more beachy. I love the trees. All right, 12 minutes, 5.1 miles. Those times don't mix well, but hey. We are basically here. We're about to go over the big, cool bridge. That must be a perfect sunrise spot. The water! Oh, I can't really see. It looks beautiful. Look at that. Pizza. Indoor. <gasps> Indoor. And it still says Wing Street. Alright, here we are. Our ocean front Hampton Inn. Probably the nicest Hampton Inn we've ever stayed. <laughs> Do not enter our school here. There it is. Hopefully our balcony isn't the one on the front here. I don't think. No, because it's supposed to have ocean front. All right, what did this guy do? Who who parks here? Hi, friends. Uh, and you know there's charging there? Plug share said there was. Well, they all look to be private balconies, so I've all got to walk. Well, hopefully. Yeah, that is all private. How do you get that? I, I don't know. I'm about to go in and ask him. I think this guy's got a way to charge, too. I think this is our EV parking being blocked by a Ford. So, yeah. That's our, that's our EV charging, but uh, interesting, okay. Uh, 
Ah, good old Hampton Inn. Look at this. Awesome. Oh, yeah. And he said he's gonna get the uh, person in the naughty V card to move. So cool, cool. Right, we have the three breakfast. I got four. Right. Eight, other way. Oh, okay. Six. Oh, this is us. Yeah. Go ahead, my queen. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah. Uh. Look at this. Partly, we got a little desk and everything. But the most important part, is this made for, oh well, my book bag's going there. It's out here. This is the best part of this whole place. That's why we picked it. There we go. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, and look at that. The beach is like empty. There's like nobody out here. Now down there, down there's a little bit of a different story, but... No, what's the trucks called? You can put your truck on the beach? In Daytona, you can drive on the beach. Yeah, yeah you're like, I could take our car out there if we wanted to. <laughs> I'm good. I don't want to, but... Well, this is our oceanfront view, and this is our room, but we want to enjoy the beach. So uh, we're going to go enjoy the beach, and then we'll come back and give you a tour. So this is the back. All of them are technically private balconies. And uh, this is like their little tiki bar area. They got TVs and everything in there. It's like a fire pit. Then this is the pool. The hot tub over there. And then this way to the beach. Ah. Oh. Wheelies. <laughs> All right, out to the beach we go. Alright. Hi, my queen. Uh, no. Uh, we've enjoyed about three or four hours here at the beach. We are uh, going to probably get something to eat and follow the night here. We had a heck of a time. Umbrellas broke. It was a crazy one. The public is welcome to the tiki bar to drink some fun. Goodbye to Daytona Beach. In the daytime, at least. Those are pretty good prices for a beach bar. Four dollars? Nice. It seems that they play music and have little events. Like tonight, there's supposed to be a fire event. We may not be here for it, but hot tub over there, though, the regular pool, and a whole little tiki bar that they even welcome the public to. So it's a whole little fun party out here. There's our car charging. But now I think we're gonna go grab some food. So we're at the uh, Coyote Ugly Saloon. Yeah. Hold on. So they apparently do the dances here and everything. I didn't know that when we came, we just came for food. But it's apparently a lot like the movies. So we're gonna eat some food and have some drinks and yeah. I don't know why I thought it was a picture. <laughs> All right, this is a mighty big burger. Tons of fries, they got the fish and chips. So let's eat. This burger is fantastic. My first Mike's Hard Lemonade at a bar. Never found a bar that served it. Oh, we got more coming up. <laughs>
so this is the Hampton Inn at night. You can see the little balconies up there and everything. So this is nighttime. It is uh, 2 a.m. in the morning, and the beach is officially clear. I went entirely a little too hard last night at the uh, uh, Coyote Ugly, but I'm moving my car now because someone else needs to charge. I would have moved it last night, but I was entirely too drunk. But we're gonna get breakfast and moving over to Diamond. All right, we're at 98%, 297 miles in our diamond parking spot. Whoa, I didn't notice there's a sweet shop. Look at all this. Candy, it's not free. Oh, wow. It has a whole ding-dong. All the drinks and stuff. That's really loud. Oh, here's what you need, my queen. Look at this, all the different coffees. We got hot water, light roast, decaf, light roast. Wait, there's two light roast? Why is there two light roast? All of this fun accoutrement. The whole little sitting areas down here. Restrooms are over there. The AC is protected by a glass box. What are you getting? What are you getting? Where are these half and half? This is half and half, both, both of them. them. Yeah. That's what I'm getting then. <laughs> <laughs> and this is kind of the rest of the room. You need a stick? I got the sticks. Is this a stick? There's a stick. We got one of these thingies too. I, I took a yellow one. Oh, that even says Hampton.com. That says it right there, Hampton.com. There we go. Yes. There we go. Orange juice, and apple juice, and enhanced tropical mango water and water. All the different breads, everything you need. So we got oatmeal, a bunch of nuts, three waffle makers with blueberry or vanilla. I guess melted vanilla. I've never, uh, never had a flavor. I filled this up. Yeah, you just fill that up and pour it in. The whole thing? Uh -huh. Pour it in into a corner. Yeah. And then you just close and flip. Close and flip. Close and flip. Close and flip. And then in two minutes and 30 seconds, it's ready. This one makes mini pancakes. I didn't notice that. Regular. Regular. Bananas. Oh, look at that. They have towels. The pool. Whoa, that's automatic. Wow. I didn't nail my first waffle. It's okay. It's still edible. Hot as I mean, it just came out of the iron thingy. Oh my god. Whoa. There's even bacon and eggs. Just a little something before we hit the room. And it's, t it's 10 a.m. and it's closed. This is also a little seating area front area the business center i like when a business center gives you a windows computer and a mac that's awesome and there's a printer of course hello beer sounds terrible yeah all right we've had we've had breakfast let's check out the room now here is our room. This is our room in the two in the two queen room that's beachfront at Hampton Inn, Daytona Beach. So uh, two queen size beds, as you can see, very comfortable. I give them props. We got a little clock here with USBs and power. That's how those lamps cut on. Phone, remote for a uh, about forty-five to fifty-inch TV, I'd say. Let me here. Let, let me open this. I'll show you this in a moment. Well, you've seen it already. Now we've got more room. So the TV, there is a microwave here, so that's always helpful. Not soft closed. And here is a little mini fridge, you know, mini fridge. This, which is next to all of our stuff, is it's like just an extra drawer. I don't, I don't really know, you know, I don't really know what this is for, but it's here. Two pictures. And then this is a nice little work desk. Nice chair if you're here to do some work. And yes, at least one power outlet to charge your laptop. There's also two more there on the wall. They do include uh, coffee with everything you need to make you some coffee in the morning. Of course, it is free downstairs with the breakfast as well. Ice cup, mirror to admire yourself. And so you see with the windows open, it's a lot brighter in here. Now this closet is uh, just your closet. It's got the safe, the ironing board, the iron, coat hangers, storage. And really for the most part, that's it. Nothing in this or anything. 
Got a nice lamp here with design on the wall. And nothing over here besides the AC unit, which is controlled with this nice digital thermostat right on the wall. Now I did like these. These look like they're from a like home two suites or something because of the color, but uh, most hotels I don't think have these. This was, this was helpful. Scan our QR code with your smartphone to view the menu. So yeah, a little mirror here to admire yourself before you leave. If you're wondering why I'm in the same outfit as Coyote Ugly last night, it's because this was my Sunday outfit. I just wore it yesterday before, because we didn't plan to go out. It just kind of happened. There is a uh, peephole. And then the restroom, not the normal Hilton mirror, but a very nice mirror as always. Got Neutrogena shampoo, Neutrogena conditioner, and shower and bath gel that doesn't seem to be Neutrogena, but looks the same. Body lotion also and oh, cleansing bar. Well, this is where all of our towels and stuff were. They're of course used now. That's just a toilet. Down here, just got a uh, hair dryer. This has plenty of space to lay all your stuff out. Now lastly is the shower. Pretty nice. It's at least somewhat adjustable up here, but uh, nice and spacious. Got the curved shower rod and uh, you know, it's a tub or a shower. Definitely like this though. No complaints with the shower. Also like the little design in it there. And then last but not least, Oh, hi there, my queen. She uh, partied a little too much at Coyote Ugly last night. A little bit. But the best part that most people pay for at this place is this balcony. If you get one of the ocean view rooms, every single room with the ocean front, as I kind of showed yesterday, and uh, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I will say, if you have a GoPro or something, set it up out here. I wish I would have. The sunrise was like dead center. It would have been a great sunrise. And yeah, the party area is great. Hot tub, the pool, charging station that I'm in, but very great experience. And also there's these uh, little chairs up here for you to uh, enjoy while you're relaxing up here on the uh, balcony. So I think that's it for our, Ham for our Hampton Inn, Daytona Front Beach Hotel. And our uh, Hilton Honors bag has a water, already drank some of it though, that's why it's half empty. Coke, Parmesan garlic and herb chips, and a sweet potato tortilla chips. All right, well, uh, Hampton Inn, Daytona Beachfront was great. They do have the one, one charging spot. So, uh, but they were nice enough to reach out to whoever the person was with a regular gas car who parked there and they moved yesterday and then I was able to charge I finished charging at like 1 a.m., but was way too drunk to move the car. That's why I moved it this morning, which they had reached out to us through like the Hilton Honors app to ask us to move. So they at least have a bit of a system to where somebody with an EV can hopefully get to charge. Outside of that though, whole party downstairs with food and drinks and everything. Complete beachfront view if you get one of these rooms with the balcony. And it is private. You can't like, you can't see the person next to you. I noticed online they actually said private balcony and some of them don't say private balcony. And I think that's, uh, they're all a private balcony. At least from what I can tell, even the ones facing the main strip are still a private balcony. Maybe that's it. Is it on the main strip? I don't know. We are about to head down to Miami to go to our next Hilton location. Pay was also free. Thank you, Hilton. They didn't like, it, it was free because of our points. They didn't sponsor this video or, but that'll do it for this one. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in Miami in tomorrow's video as we're heading there. We gotta stop somewhere in charge, so let's go. Well, I guess I should do that right. Deuces. Bye.